everybody, this is Carissa from Happily Ever Paper Crafter, and today I wanted to show you how I created a nativity scene set uh, for my kids to play with. The cartridge that we will be using today is Winter Frolic, and when you open this up, you will find a ton of nativity scene characters that Cricut has built in, from the cute little donkey to Joseph and baby Jesus and Mary, and there's a ton, a ton, a ton well, here we'll show you all. There's some wise men, and they all come with a base feature, a shift feature, and then two layer features. So there's a lot of color and a lot of cuts to each of the characters, which I think makes them really pop and seem adorable. Some sheep and a camel, and that's it. So I'm gonna cut out all of those, and instead of just running them through my Cricut and selecting the keys, which would be a fine way to do it, um, I'm actually going to be using my Gypsy. The first thing that you would want to do is decide what size, and I'm going to cut everything out at 3 inches. So when you make a selection like that, 3 inches, everything that you cut out is 3 inches. The base feature, the shift feature, even this little birdie, I'm going to say cut at 3 inches because then it will all fit together on a 3 inch cut. Cricut has built that in so there's no guessing at that. So it's really easy. As you can see on my Gypsy, I already have a ton of layers in. Um, to add a layer, you would just hit this plus sign, and you would just keep adding layers and layers and layers. And what that is is a different mat. You start fresh, and you're able to put um, whatever you want on the mat wherever you'd like it. So here I'm selecting layer one, and this is gonna be the base of all the characters I'm gonna cut out. Everything is at three inches, and this color I am gonna select as being black. So all this will cut out as black, and there's a little beard in there, otherwise everything is the base feature. And I've already had this set. It took me a little bit to get it set, but once you have it set, then it's super easy to cut. You just load your paper on your mat, load your mat, um, hit to cut, and everything cuts out into the colors that you would like. So this whole feature page, layer two, is all gonna be brown. So the donkey's brown, some facial features are brown, some robes and coats. And when I looked at the characters on my guide, I could see what they kind of cut it out at in the little color feature. So I could see like, oh yeah, that should be brown, or that should be green, and that should be a khaki color so that really helped me decide what my colors were and when I flipped through the book deciding what I was going to make I was able to really select a couple colors and make those um, keys cut out in those colors so layer three over here is going to be a lot of like peach colored the facial colors um, down here is going to be a khaki color Layer four, we have yellow over here. Down here, we're gonna have a blue. Layer five, we're gonna have green over here. Um, this is gonna be red, and this is gonna be white. Now here is just something I'm gonna show you. Um, when you select from your mat, and this is one of the coolest things on the Gypsy I think of. Let's select, let's see, we're on layer, we're gonna select this layer, and we're gonna put that on our mat. And I am going to make that three inches, and I'll show you how I do that. If you touch on the height, and you touch on your keypad, you can punch in exactly what you would like it to be. So I know all my layers are gonna be three inches. So there's um, this on three inches. Here we can zoom in a little bit, there we go. Now, under the advanced tab, if you have your image selected, there's this feature over here called the hide feature. And you are able to select what you would like to cut and what you would not like to cut. So for instance, if I had this on my mat, it would cut out both in the same color. But let's say I would like this to be color, cut out in a khaki color and this to be cut out in a green color. I'm going to hide this feature and only cut out this feature. So you can see there's, this um, line is red, and that means that it's selected. So I'm gonna hide that. Now there's two ways to do that. You can 
select the image and once that's red you can hit hide or there's this next next feature which is really nice sometimes there's a lot of little cuts and instead of selecting each little one you can just go to the next feature and it will oh, now see that one was next so that became red and I'm going to hide that and then okay so now all this is uh, grayed out so that will not cut and this still has a blue line around it now that image will cut and when you go through and do a lot of layers like that, let's grab another one. This had a lot of layers. Put that on our mat. We'll make that three inches. Come on, here we go. We'll make that three inches. And now I've selected it. I'm going to my advanced folder grab the hide feature. Now this one has a lot. You could cut this out in red, this out in green, the little pieces out in gold. So you could really do a bunch of different things. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you the next feature. Let's say I want only this to be cut and not all these little pieces. So if I hit hide, it's gonna hide that one. I'm gonna hit next and I'm just gonna keep going back and forth, back and forth. Go to my next, whoops. There we go, and hide. Now I've just selected that. Now let's say I want both of these uh, to be cut out in green. And I know when I lay out my mat, I'm gonna put my green piece of paper over in this corner. You can see on, on the gypsy, it looks just like a mat. So I'm gonna move my image over here. I'm gonna move this image over here. And now I know all the cuts in this corner will cut out in green. So when you keep adding layers, that's the idea. That's what I've done throughout all these layers is separated them into colors of how I'm going to put the paper on my mat. Like I said, this will be white, this will be red, this will be green or blue. Okay, so I'm gonna um, get my mat, lay out some paper, and I'll show you how that will cut out on the So gypsy. here you can see that I laid out some paper on my mat. Here, here we go. Here is my gypsy. So you can see that this is the sheep stuff, so that's gonna be cut out in white. And over in this corner, I want that to be cut out in red. And then up in this corner, I want that to be cut out in blue. So here's the arrow of my mat, here's the arrow on the gypsy. So I know everything's laid out exactly as it should be. And uh, um, just a tip, it, when you uh, get real close, like when you zoom in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that none of your images, I should really be using my stylist, that none of your images um, are gonna go over the edge. So I've already done that, made sure none of my images are gonna go over the edge. I've set everything up, got my mat all set. And just one final tip, what I always do when I cut out multiple papers, is I always brayer my paper down pretty good. That way it's not gonna come off. Okay, let's head over to the Cricut and I'll show you how this is gonna cut out. Okay, you can see I have my Gypsy all hooked up. It's to the power cord and to the cord to my Cricut. And I have like this little Gypsy stand that's a plate holder that I like to use. So I have that all set and then let's turn towards my Cricut. And I'm going to go to the basic and just hit the cut feature which is the little <coughs> Excuse me, which is the little exacto knife. I'm gonna get my paper ready. I'm gonna hit the load mat. And I'm gonna hit the cut feature. Now sometimes when you've hid a lot of features and moved some features around, it takes the gypsy just a little bit to get all that information inputted into the Cricut to cut. It's asking me, is everything how I would like it to be? My pressure, my blade. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Another good tip, if you know that some of your paper is thinner than others, I would make sure that all of those go on the same layer and on the same mat. Try not to have really thin paper and then really thick paper and try to get it all cut out. While the blade's moving, I you can switch the blade size really quick, um, but you can't switch the pressure while it's cutting. So just keep that in mind. 
And the paper pack that I'm using to cut this out is by Cartabella Winter Fun. This is a 6x6 paper pad that you can find at shoppumpkinspice.com. So I got all my pieces cut out and I assembled all of my shapes and all my guys and all my animals. So I cut out all my pieces and I assembled all my people and I saved one to show you. This is the donkey and he's probably one of the easiest. A lot of the pieces have, or a lot of the people have really tiny pieces and I didn't think that would show up very well on the camera. So I'm just going to show you how I put together the donkey. I'm using the Scotch quick dry adhesive and my tweezer bees. These are what you're going to need, some type of tweezer manipulative for all the little pieces. And I actually like to use it a lot. It just, if you hold it, you can turn it over, hold your piece, and apply your glue. And not get your fingers too sticky. Now I love liquid glue for many reasons. But when you're doing a lot of little pieces, it's nice to use liquid glue because when you are setting up your piece, you may need to maneuver it just a little bit. And you can do that with liquid glue, whereas if you'd use a tape runner, once you stick it down, it's kind of down. And then here's this little birdie that goes on his back. And then last, his little snout. And sometimes when I have a piece, I don't know, is it going to go this way? Is it going to go this way? I like to use my tweezer bees and just kind of guesstimate how that's going to go. So I have a plan before I have to stick it down. There. And this glue will dry clear, so if there's a little bit of white glue hanging out, I don't care because it'll dry glue. And there's my donkey. Isn't he cute? So I'm going to show you some of the other um, guys that I cut out. These are the three wise men. And they had a lot of little pieces. Here is the shepherd boy and his sheep. And the camel, which I think is one of my favorites. All of these are cut out at three inches. And then we have Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus. Now for Mary and the baby Jesus I put a little pen line using um, a micron really fine tipped black marker I drew in his eyes and then for both of their cheeks I used some Copic markers R81 and R11 just to give them some color on their cheeks. So what I'm going to be doing then is taking my pieces and using some craft magnet and this one is great because it already has adhesive on the back. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby ages ago and so you just take your roll and I'm just going to be cutting off the pieces, removing the adhesive and putting a magnetic strip on the back. Um, I'm going to be giving these pieces to my kids and having them on the back of a cookie sheet so then they can move the players around and act out their own nativity scene. So there you go. Okay, those two are done. I'm going to finish up the rest and then I'll show you some pictures of what that looks like when it's all completed. Thanks for watching! Mary, did you know that your baby boy one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters?